What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. All right. <laughs> Ray Fisher ain't fucking around, guys. He is uh, continuing his um, his campaign to just basically out Joss Whedon here. Um, and, uh, yeah, we woke up to a, another tweet um, that is, of course, now making the rounds. And I'll bring it up right here. Boop. Okay. <laughs> I, love, uh, I love this right here. Um, from, uh, I think that's from Travis, right? But, uh, I believe Kai Cole and Charisma Carpenter. Now, if you guys know who that is, well, Charisma Car Carpenter was on the show Buffy and Angel, and apparently she got fired after being pregnant. And there's other stuff too that, uh, that, uh, you could like look up and see like, you know, shady shit that Whedon has always just the way that he is. And the biggest, biggest thing is she got pregnant and he fired her, wrote her off the show. I think killed her off or whatever. I wasn't a fan of the show really. So, and then he got Kai Cole, which is his ex wife, which that, that lovely little article that came out three years ago that a lot of these bloggers who are defending Whedon, you know, chose to ignore that, even though, you know, they, they'll have hashtag believe all women and, you know, they'll be, they'll claim they're feminists and everything like that, but it's a selective thing to them. It really is just like, you know, they'll have black lives matter. <laughs> hashtag in their name and they're totally just like what the fuck ray you're like not showing any class how dare you so it's pretty funny and then also i wanted to bring to your attention too because i watched it er uh, earlier this morning is kevin smith and mark Bernardin on fat man beyond they also spoke about this stuff and uh the stuff that ray said so it's uh it's, we got a little 45 minute clip here that i'll uh play for you to so you can see what they uh what they had to say about it Make sure I turn all the way up. So here we go. To the Skywalker set, some people had worked on Solo and Justice, both versions of Solo and both versions of, of Justice League. Um, the, the special effects guys said that there was like a fair amount of trashing of um, the Zach's version of the movie on set mm. by Joss. Um, again, I don't, this is what a special effects guy who worked on both versions of the movie told me, but that he would kind of like cut down, dismiss, and, you know, be negative about Zach's version. And there it is. Now, of course, Kevin Smith is going to, you know, he's going to say like, oh, that's what I heard, you know, don't, don't take it all, which is great. That's what you're supposed to do. It's all hearsay. But the fact of the matter is you got some of these bloggers that are also saying that, oh yeah, Kevin Smith just heard and blah, blah, blah. And they're still defending Joss Whedon. But just, just imagine if the roles were reversed, if this was about Zack Snyder, you know, that they'd be singing a different tune, you know, 100% they'd be singing a different tune because they don't like Zack Snyder and they love Joss Whedon because Joss Whedon gave them their first Avengers movie, which yes, we can commend him for that. He achieved something that was something new and, you know, almost seemed like it could have been impossible. Then of course he went, you know, he kind of took a nosedive when it came to everything else, but you know, that's besides the point, but it's just kind of funny when they, they still, they still, are defending Joss, but when you know if it was reversed, if it was Snyder that came in for a Joss Whedon movie and did the exact same thing, oh, they would be all over him, just smearing the shit out of him. Oof. So it's just kind of funny how people think and how how people work and stuff like that. So there you go, guys. More stuff. So you know, it's going to start making the rounds. You better believe it. And uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, an interesting um, conversation that's going to happen tonight on the vodka stream. Make sure you tune in. All right, guys. Bye.